talk about just the things that are are good, right? Um, as far as philosophy and strategy and how to handle these breakup situations. But we can get right into some breakup psychology stuff. So uh, here's really, I'm just going to address some general strategy and kind of the problem with breakup stuff. You know what I mean? On, on the internet, you have so many problem you know, programs out there and people on YouTube grifting off the breakup thing. Um, and it's actually something that I see as a major hole too, um, is we have become aware that this is sort of a, a gap in red pill uh, content creation. Uh, I won't say it's a it's a gap in uh, those people who consider themselves red pill, red pill philosophy. It's not. I mean, there's been a lot talked about, but as far as people putting out content, uh, there's not much talked about in terms of breakups. So guys who are, you know, reading the rational mail and listening to some of the good content creators out there, Rule Zero panel, and uh, some of the good uh, people that are out there will often find themselves stuck when it comes to the breakup aspect. And then they're like, well, okay, what do I look at? And then they start looking at other stuff that's out there and it's a mixed bag. You know, usually what it is is you'll have some things that are good uh, and some things that are terrible or not good um, all coming from the same person. So um, we want to avoid that and um, talk about just the things that are, are good, right? Um, as far as philosophy and strategy and how to handle these breakup situations, because the the, the the kind of the red pill idea is is really, well, it's over. She's not, you know, there's no such thing as the one, so just move on and spin plates or date a bunch of other girls when you're ready, right? That's the general advice, and it's not bad advice. It's generally that's correct. When the breakups happen guys get an extreme amount of uh we'll call it just anxiety okay there's no other way to describe it there's no better word for it i don't think in psychology but it, you, you know the danger signals are coming through um in your brain right it just you have a and it's also an addiction that's happening too so when you're with somebody you associate here's how this addiction works oxytocin and vasopressin the things that involve the the love okay chemicals those things are very powerful very addicting and that's a good thing okay it's a good thing it's how we're made that's why we stay with partners and all that stuff not a bad thing but when we're when we're going through a breakup though those things can be very damaging and challenging to handle and so and then if you're somebody with some attachment issues or whatever some trauma from the past your um, addiction to that oxytocin and the damage that does to your identity in the breakup is even is far greater. So people get into really bad places when they're going through breakups. And so they're searching for answers. They want to know what they just, all they know is that they, what it boils down to is they feel bad. And they want to not feel bad anymore and they want answers so that they don't, you know, feel bad anymore. Okay. And oftentimes those answers are wanting her back, wanting the relationship back. Um, oftentimes those answers are just wanting to know what happened or what she's thinking or what she's going through, or is she mad or upset, or is she going to contact me if I do no contact or whatever, because every, I mean, it's a little stupid because in the internet, you know, the strategy to get someone back is everyone just repeats and steals off of each other in the uh, breakup uh, psychology grifting world to sell their courses. And they're all stealing the same material about no contact, no contact. She breaks up with you, no contact, right? And then there's, you, you can, just, if all you have to do is do a quick search on YouTube and it's all these experts who are going to tell you, all this, you know, it's, and it's all the same advice you're stealing from each other. And it all boils down to your no contact, no contact. So then, of course, if a chick jumps on, your chick jumps on YouTube and she's like, no contact. 
and you're like, no contact. And now everybody's doing no contact. Well, uh, you're probably not getting back together <laughs> if, any, if everyone follows that advice <laughs> the way that the internet tells them. So there's more nuance. It, it is no contact good advice. Yeah, it can be. Okay. But um, it is, there's more nuances than that. And the details matter. So that that's the first thing that we need to understand about the, the breakup uh, psychology is that these details make the difference between success or failure. The difference between maybe it's not really a breakup and you still remain together in the future or it ends up being broken up, right? Those details can be the difference between those two things. Um, the difference between you recovering in six weeks and being relatively good in six weeks. And that is the what I tell you guys. If you're going through a breakup and if you're not good in six weeks, and when I say good, I don't mean that you never, ever think about this person like they never existed. Um, but I mean that you're no longer attached to that relationship. You're comfortable with it. You saw her with another dude. You wouldn't care. And you're ready to date and see other women. That's what I mean by six weeks. If you are not good with that breakup in six weeks, and I don't care if you were together for 20 years or if you were together for you know, six months, you should be to that point of acceptance. So when I say good point of acceptance in six weeks, if it's a breakup, I'm not talking about a partner dying. I'm not talking about some of these other serious things right? like that. But if a breakup means that this other person is choosing not to be with you or you're choosing um, not to be with them because you can't be with them because there's something that makes her not a good partner to you, right? And so if that's the case, again, it's not, we're not talking about a death or something. Your, your spouse dies after 20 years of a happy marriage. I'm talking about a voluntary situation where somebody is voluntarily not being with you, either because they broke up with you or because they won't do or can't do. Usually it's won't, though, the behaviors and things that would make her a good partner to you. So you had to leave. And so that's voluntary, right? That's not something that happens on accident. That's not something that happens um, because life's sometimes hand sandwich. That's something where somebody voluntarily is choosing not to be with you. That is a situation that a man with healthy self-esteem and an alpha mindset can overcome in about six weeks, okay? And if you can't and you're stuck it's taking you longer than six weeks. You need to book a consult with me. No, this is not something just to grift my services. Okay. I'm actually really busy right now. I don't need to need to. It's not it. It's just that I know that guys go through so much pain with these circumstances and we can reduce that and solve that problem for you. So I, it's to a point where I, I, I put as a package deal because my rates had to go up. So in, in preparation for the membership thing so that I can dedicate the time to my members. Right. And, and so it, it, my, my just at my rates had to go up or else I would be slammed with consults with my non-members. And anyway, at any rate, for a reduced cost of what it would cost my hourly, I have packages for breakup stuff. So if you, if you go to my website, apexmindset.net, you're struggling with a breakup. You want to be better off than when you started, even started that relationship. We'll get you there in six weeks. And that's what that, pa that package is for. <clears throat> now, this includes whether you want her back or whether you want to move on indefinitely. Because the answer is sort of similar either way as far as your action plan, Okay. Um, but we can work through that problem. The reason why I won't do a course on this is be where I can hit masses more. Instead, I'll do the playlist for free, okay, um, is that every situation is, is a little bit different. And this is the problem with the breakup psychology uh, YouTubers today and, and, and psychologists, okay, is they have courses out. They have programs to help you get your ex back. Notice that they're not talking about breakup psychology, right? They're talking about get your ex back. Why is that? 
because your addiction right now, at the, if you're somebody who's just broke up, your addiction is to your ex. And this is men that take this stuff. Girls aren't usually taking these courses. <laughs> Notice that about female nature. Women aren't the ones trying to get their ex back, uh, usually. I mean, sometimes they are, but I mean, they're not taking a course on it, put it like that. Um, it's the men that are doing it. All these courses are directed towards you dudes, which should tell you something about male nature and their attachments to women, okay? Um, it's directed towards dudes filling their heads with the fantasy of getting this person back and living happily ever after. I say it's a fantasy because it usually does not work out. Um, it is a small percentage of the time, I want to say like less than 10%, that it does work out. Um, now, that doesn't mean that in certain circumstances, it's not worth trying to work through being together in the future. I won't say get her back because usually if that's the case, it wasn't a full loss, you know, never really, it wasn't usually, it's what I call a, a, a fake breakup. It wasn't a real breakup. Usually if that happens, there, there might be reasons for that. There's individual reasons. I've helped guys on numbers of consults in the beginning of me doing consults, especially, especially military stuff before I knew better. I help guys get their exes back. I help guys get their recover from you know, their, their divorced wife is now their date. They're seeing them and banging them again. I've had that. I've gotten guys to be able to do that many, many times over. Um, there's almost every single time. It's hard for me to find or think of a circumstance where they didn't get her back. In fact, you know what? No, it's been 0% of uh, that, that they were not able to get her back in some capacity. What I mean by some capacity is, you know, I can't promise that she's going to be capable of a good relationship. There were times when the guy got her back, but she was still seeing a guy on the side. But then she was seeing him and entertaining the idea and banging him every now and then. Right. So she he got her back, of course, but she's not a good uh, person for anybody, really, or a good partner. And so she continued to, you know, F around with dudes on the side and, you know, not really be somebody of integrity so these are things that happen but in at any rate though did he get her back did he get her back at least in terms of she was seeing him and you know having you know sex with him and stuff like that yeah sure you know but it's the question of what kind of relationship do you want <laughs> see because that's the difference the person you're dealing with might not be capable of having the kind of relationship that you envision and that's first part of the point they might not be capable of it. So you're trying to get this chick back because you have an addiction. And that addiction is because you associate, your brain associates her to the source of attachment, which means oxytocin, vasopressin, all of the attachment chemicals. So you just have this addiction association with this girl. But this girl might not be a good girl for you. That We find that out all the time. So this guy's focus is on getting her back when he's not asking himself, why do I want this chick back in the first place outside of my addiction? Right. And so that's for first, first part of the problem. Now, if I want to take people's money and not offer much of a service, like most of these dudes on YouTube, I would just go, Oh, let me get you your ex back program. Here's your seven steps or nine steps or 12 steps to get your, your ex back. Um, buy my program 30 days to get your ex back, right? Like all of these different programs that are out there, but all they're doing is taking your money because they're designed to use your pain point in order for you to buy into something so that you can, uh, in an unhealthy way, chase after somebody is what it boils down to. And it's not good. Okay. And that's just about every program I've seen. Now there might be something out there that's okay. Um, but I doubt if they're titling it, get your ex back. I, I doubt it's good because that's the wrong framework. The right framework is breakup recovery, getting over through and done with that breakup. There are occasions when you end up getting back with that chick or she gets back with you is a better way of saying it. And then those occasions, cool. You know, there's strategies for that, but there's most of the occasions are the guy moves on is happier without her and get somebody better. Now I say that though, to a guy who's, if there's a guy listening right now that is going through 
the pain of loss of watching his girlfriend or, or whoever she is, his girl, chick that he's in love with, reject him, break up with him, and move on, start to move on. He's going through that pain. And I say, well, most likely you're going to be better off without her, happier and with someone better. That signals to him like, oh, I don't want that. Well, I'm going to stop listening to this guy right now because that's not what I want. I want her back. I don't want that. All right. That's a weak ass position. And honestly, guys who are stuck on that and not at least open minded to the idea of being better off without her, you're kind of a you're kind of a pussy. You know, like I'm not trying to shame you for it. But if you're so stuck that you would like shut my video off to go to get her back dot com or whatever, like and, and not listen to the idea that maybe, maybe being better off with or without her is the thing that you need to focus on. Like you're not the right person to, to be watching my stuff. You, you, you need to figure it out because you're not, that's, that's your, 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 you need like masculinity one-on-one. Okay. Is what you need really. And I'm not trying to shame you out of it, but I'm just saying it. It's just the truth. I don't know what else to say about it, you know? And so, um, and it's just, it, it's, you, you need to be focused on getting yourself better and getting yourself better is what ultimately would, you know, would be required for a relationship to work out with your ex in the future, if that were going to be a thing in the rare occasions that happen. All right. So that's where the focus needs to be, not on her, not on the other person. If you're focused on the other person, you will fail. 100% you will fail. You will fail at getting her back which is what happens most of the time, or you'll get her back in a capacity that you don't want, which what happens the rest of the time. If your focus is on her and strategizing to make her like you again, instead of you and making yourself better, you will lose her repeatedly. You'll either never get her back again, or you will continue to lose her. And, and why put yourself through that pain? All right. That's stupid. But got men who are too weak to face the music here because they can't handle a little pain in their lives. Those are the ones who won't listen to what I'm saying. They're the ones that'll click off this video and look for get your back, get your ex back in 30 day program for $5.99 or whatever it is. All right. And so I'm telling you guys, if anything, if you take anything away from this video, those programs are a waste of time because they're focused on the wrong things, right? Now, there may be some good advice in there, interspersed in those videos, interspersed in those programs, okay? But the focus is all wrong. So if you're listening to someone who is focused on getyourexback.com, you know what I mean? I, I, I mean, the most surefire way to get her back, all that stuff, you're in the wrong place. You won't get her back in the way that, if you do get her back, which is still a low percentage of the time, even with these programs, it won't be in the capacity that you want. And it won't be in a relationship that's going to work out. Let's face it. If you are a man, then you are probably dealing with problems and challenges with women. Now, I've got some good news and some bad news for you. Your success with women literally boils down to one thing. The bad news is... If you don't have it, nothing else will work. All of the money, good looks, and all of the best pickup and game skills out there will fail without you mastering this one thing. And that one thing is frame. The answers to ending your pain and suffering and to start living an amazing life with women is just one click away. Click the link and let's get started. Here's the thing about the breakup stuff. It, the prescription is simple, but you know, you got to understand though, that like what you need to do to move on may vary a little bit in detail from what the next guy does or the next guy, which is why a generalized get your ex back program is not effective because you know, let's say a guy is saying 30 day, no contact or something like that or whatever. Right. Well, here's a good example. Actually, let's say a guy's breakup strategy is to no contact the chick. And generally that is good advice. 
So generally that is the advice you want to follow. Um, but let's say that man is in a place where he actually screwed up in the relationship, did some damaging things to his partner and feels really guilty about that. And that's part of the equation here. Well, his answer might be a little bit different. Now, he's not going to contact her in order to get her back. And maybe not contacting at her, all, at her at all is still the best choice. However, if that guy is struggling with being able to move on because of feelings of guilt, he might need to actually send her like a written letter or a message or something. Now, I got all of the spurgs in the background now go mouth. I got all the mouth breathers that come across my video going, hey, you know, you, you don't contact you. You're to be alpha. All right. So Ian, here, I got it out of your system for you. All right. You don't know. I got some guys who are more alpha than you. Okay. Badass dudes. You know, the, they've been through more stuff and, uh, and, and they can kill you in a heartbeat. Really? And they've, their answer was a need for uh, making amends with a, part, a previous partner. Not to get them back, but so that they could move on and work through some of the guilt that they felt for the break of that relationship. All right? Now, that's that person's personal answer. That's not your answer, maybe. That's not a strategy to get her back. That usually is not going to help you get her back. It usually will harm your abilities to get her back. Um, but that is something that people sometimes need to do in order to move on from that relationship and, and, and be better in the future for somebody else, right? And so if you're hanging on to guilt from the past things, you got to work through that. Now, the best way to work through it is just to correct the problem in most cases, okay, the best way to work through it is to correct yourself for you and for your future partners and not to worry about her. She chose to leave the relationship instead of working it out with you. And so continuing that even in any sort of form of contact is not worth it. But moving forward is, okay? That's the answer for most people. But, but sometimes you, if you didn't leave it, and didn't do the breakup exactly the way I would instruct you to do the breakup, okay? You left certain things in a bad spot. You might need to send that message or that letter. I say a letter because literally it's not to get her back, but just to take some stock of the damage that you caused and express that you admit the mistake you want, that your mistakes in, in the thing, in, in, in your responsibility and any harm you've caused and anything you can do to try to make it better. You're open to that, but otherwise you're just going to make yourself better and move on so that you're a better person and that you wish her the best for her future. That, that kind of a contact where you're, if she needs something, whatever you're recognizing, sometimes just recognizing the harm you caused to somebody and telling them that helps them out, you know what I mean? And then you feel better for that. And you're working on yourself so you don't continue to do it. Guilt isn't going to help you, okay, just to harbor the emotion. It doesn't do anything. You have to make yourself better so you don't do the things that you feel guilty for in the future, right? And you're letting her know, hey, if there's anything I can do, let me know. But otherwise, I wish you the best. And I want what's best for you. That is something that some guys need to do. Some guys need to send that. And that's an example. I'm not telling you to send that because usually I'll say 90% of you, that's a wrong answer. Why is it the wrong answer? Because you're just sending her something because you really want her back and you're addicted. That's why. That's why. For most of you guys, you're sending it. You need that contact because you broke up, you know, three days ago and you feel terrible because all of the, your pain, pleasure balance in your body, which I talk about that in the Alpha Mindset course, which you can still get. If you don't have it, you need to get it, okay? Um, but yeah, your pain pleasure balance is off. So you're feeling these, this pain and this internal struggle inside of yourself. 
and sending her some sort of contact is just going to make you feel better right now. That's for most of you where it's going to come from and why it's the wrong answer. However, some of you work through yourself and get to a point where that's not why you're contacting her, but you still feel tremendously guilty because you're a human being. And, and you know, human beings with a conscious and all that will feel guilty if they do the wrong thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. And so this might be an answer for you. And so how do we know, though, right? How do you know from where you're sitting if which one is the right one? It's not going to be some guy who doesn't know your situation giving you general advice on YouTube. I'm saying this as a strategy, and some of you will use it as permission to do the wrong thing and contact your ex. I know that. I know that. I'm, you know, but I can't do anything about that because some of you need to hear this so that you do what you need to do to move on. Which is it? You might not know sitting where you're at if you're going through this because you are in it and your emotions are going to cloud your judgment. All right. And so that's why anything involving an actual repair thing. I'm going to give the information for free here on YouTube and try to arm you guys with the tools. I'm going to give you the time frame, which is six weeks. Your inner game stuff, I'm always going to refer back to this because it's so important. Your inner game and how you are with yourself and your mental clarity, your mental fitness, your resiliency, your mental balance, all those things, things that require work, by the way. Just like you need to work on your muscles, you need to work on your mind. All of those things about your inner game is what's going to make the difference between you getting over a breakup or getting through a breakup well or not getting through it very well. And that's why the Alpha Mindset course is still available. And that thing is going to be available for as long as I can, as long as I'm on ex in existence. And in fact, I will update. If you've already bought it, you'll get the updates for free because we'll just pop, I'll just announce it. It'll pop on the course, but there's some modules and some things after the first of the year, I'm going to do a couple updates probably every three to six months, because guess what? New research happens in neurology every year. And so I want to make sure it's up to date, you know? And so that you, you'll just have a Rolodex and a reference and a resource forever uh, with that course to work on your inner game. Anyway, at any rate, that's your best tool and what you need for getting over this stuff. Uh, getting through it is really what I mean, whether it's getting her back or whether it's making amends or whether it's, you know, repairing things or whether it's just getting over her, moving on and being better without her, you know. And so, um, yeah, but there's an example where one advice of no contact might actually harm a guy from moving forward. He's three months later, four months later with tremendous guilt from what, you know, his behavior in a relationship. And he still think, you know, still harbors that guilt and can't get over it. Well, shoot, you know, maybe sending that final message kind of a thing and leaving that door open and owning the parts where you screwed up would have been the difference between the guy thinking about this chick and not having the closure he needed six months later. You see what I'm saying? And so this is why we need to assess the situation. Uh, another example, it makes a big difference. For example, she breaks up with you because she was alpha widowed previously, right? And basically you're just somebody that she was trying it with for a number of different reasons and attraction triggers and maybe beta qualities. And then it just her attraction and desire the little bits that she had just went south over time and was you're unable to capture that back again. And she ended up just doesn't, she's not feeling it and she leaves. But the reality is that there was a guy she, you know, that did it for her a lot better than you had in her past. Getting through that situation, that breakup, and that scenario is different formula than if she sees you as her best but maybe you had some retroactive jealousy or maybe you had some, you know, you guys had some conflicts or whatever. Maybe she was just a certain way in her personality and that would create a conflict with you guys because she would come out of frame a lot and you guys would get into conflicts and she just doesn't feel like it could work with you, even though she sees you as her best. 
she sees that I can't make this work. So I need to hedge my bets at my age or something before I decline more and find a guy that I can be more stable with. She sees you as the alpha, but now she's thinking stability is the answer. So a girl who leaves under those pretenses is going to be much different than a girl who leaves on the, the previous ones where she doesn't see, see you as her best, really. And she's not going to be consciously aware of any of these things. So there's that too. So what do you need? You need somebody to analyze your situation. We well, really, you need to analyze your situation, but you may not have the tools or the clarity. And this is why you need to be able to understand it for what it is. And maybe the answer is just to move on completely. And that is usually the answer, but having that clarity is something that you're just not going to be able to not have. We'll put it like that. You're, you, when you're going through the pain of a breakup, you're going to want to know what happened, what went on in order for you to know that the, whatever strategy or plan you're executing is working for you. Okay. How you handle that breakup and how you handle her when she orbits back into your life or as things are sort of breaking, you know, because a lot of times it's not as clean, right? So you, if you cohabitate with her, there's logistics that need to be handled. If you share kids, that's a whole thing, right? If you're in the same social circle or you work in the same place or whatever, these are all things to address. How do you conduct yourself? What is your strategy? What are you doing? Big difference if we're depending on the circumstance of the breakup and why she feels she needs to break up with you or why you had to break up with her. Because sometimes you're the one that would have to break up. Um, these are all things, these nuances matter. And to be able to climb, and this is why I talk about, when I talk about my game and pick up and stuff, it's, I tell guys, it's based in empathy. All right. And empathy is not a, a, uh, a beta or weak trait at all. Okay. When we're plotting against the enemy in wartime, we're trying to think about what the enemy is thinking, feeling, and going through so that we can plan. It's not very, uh, very beta at all. Okay. It's not particularly alpha either. It just is. All right. It is, is em empathy is, and what it is, is understanding the other person. And if you expect to be successful with women in any sense, you're going to want to be able to not just understand general principles from psychology books or YouTubers, but you're going to want to understand your particular chick that you're dealing with by being able to recognize and communicate with her, recognize her body language, recognize not only what she says, but what she doesn't say, all right? Recognize how she frames things and talks about past, present, future, recognizing her actions and interpreting her actions. Because you interpret those things the wrong way and you're gonna be out in left field with how you're handling her, all right? That'll cause you to lose relationships later on or cause you to really screw up the process if you are interested in getting this person back and that's something that could happen and is a reasonable thing to happen that could sabotage your efforts. You have to understand where her mind's at, where, how her feelings are with you. And there are stages of a girl goes through with a breakup, but those stages are not gonna be the same. If you broke up with her, then her stages are going to be different than if she broke up with you. But even more than that, her reasons of breaking up with you, her stages are going to be different. If she's, if she's looking to mate switch, for example, and she's got a guy that has been pining for her and she thinks he's attractive. Let's say she hasn't really cheated physically yet, but it called the question, the validity of the relationship she's in. She starts to devalue her partner, see her partner as less, seeing this other guy who's now, he's really the fantasy guy because she doesn't know him that intimately. It's the newness as something more. She really wants to bang this other dude and she needs out of the relationship, right? So she executes that strategy, like her stages that she will go through in this breakup process are far different than a girl who has just, let's say, got fed up with the relationship over time because this guy was her best and then he beta ties himself and became less and less attractive over a series of three, four, five years, let's say. 
right? So the commitment goes on longer. He try, he doesn't try as much. He's not putting in the effort, even on in his own sexual market value. He's not putting in the effort into the relationship. He's gotten very complacent and her feelings have just drifted and they're no longer there. And she doesn't see him as a high value man anymore. And she just doesn't feel it for the guy. Her, her stages that she's going to go through are different than the other scenario with the girl who's going to mate switch or the other scenario where she really is attracted to the guy, but she sees him as a bit too toxic for her to stick around or her anxiety is too high or they have some differences that they, she doesn't feel like she can overcome. Right. There are, they, it's not going to be a one size fits all situation. So I'm going to have to do a series of videos <laughs> talking about each one of those situations over time to try to help you guys out as much as I can. But at the end of the day, you're probably going to have to schedule something. It depends. There's, there's some cases where guys pretty good resolved and all that. And then some of the free stuff will be helpful, but really you want to know and you want to walk away from this breakup better than when you started the relationship. You want to be better than you were for yourself. If getting back with her is a possibility, that has to be the case for you to find a better relationship in the future. That has to be the case, right? You have to be better to get better, whether it's with your previous partner or a future partner. Okay. And so that's why having this understanding is kind of important because if you understand what's, what happened, what's going on, well, then you'll be able to correct yourself, fix yourself, and notice things for the next time around.